Yeah, so we have um, a couple of different species of these long-necked dinosaurs. Glacialosaurus was one we named in 2007. It's a little more fragmentary. We discovered this specimen in 2010 um, that has kind of some of the backbone and hips and, and leg, which we think is a new species. But the, the coup de gras, the really impressive one, um, we've, able, we've been able to mock up into the, the full diorama with the skeleton. Oh. Um, we've got two specimens. This is, and it's not a dwarf, right? It's, it's, uh, it's actually only about four or five years old. Um, and in terms of the plant life, is, yeah, it, so that's is it related? Start. Is it related then to like pine or? Um, so we, we uh, do have some conifers, a lot of ferns, um, relatives of like monkey puzzle trees would have been around during this time. You know, so we've, re we've reconstructed the, the botanicals kind of based on the few things that have been found in, in those areas, but also uh, what's around during the Jurassic period in other parts of the world. Right. Yeah. But yeah, the, the murals really sell it for me. I mean, it, it gives you a sense of, you know, being in the environment. Yeah. yeah, so this is, we don't have marine dinosaurs, right? But during that time, we have marine reptiles like the Mosasaurus, and this is Taniwasaurus. Um, that was also found from the peninsula. So these are relatives of uh, varanoid lizards right, that became secondarily aquatic. So kind of take a Komodo dragon and stretch out the tail and give it some flippers. There he is. You got a mosasaur. It's pretty amazing. And where was he found? Um... In the Antarctic Peninsula, yeah. They're, like these, these other ones, he, this animal did have relatives that are also in New Zealand and Japan, you know, suggesting that they're still kind of um, sharing of warm water currents between these areas. Oh, interesting, interesting. So dinosaurs do go extinct at the end of the Cretaceous, but it's not long before they return to Antarctica in the form of penguins and their relatives. Stunning little guys, they're amazing. We can definitely say dinosaurs still rule Antarctica today. <laughs> it, it is kind of amazing that um, the Adeli and the Emperor essentially share the same territory and uh, we found you know we, we were in five different locations in Antarctica probably the nicest one for our guys was being at the French station because the French know how to live best food best well best food and uh, our guys when they came in they brought them a case of iceberg lettuce oh. I now know why it's called iceberg lettuce by the way <laughs> And uh, literally, the chef was in tears because it's the first green that they had for quite a while. That's, it's the freshies, that's what people want, The right? freshies, yeah. is that what they call them? That's great. We, we got a chance in 2003 to see a, a whole bunch of these um, when we did a trip kind of around Ross Island, just kind of march up to us and hang out for a while. Really, really cool, really beautiful animals. Amazing animals. Amazing. I love these guys. I love these guys. Yeah, just like Apsley said, they, uh, they, they're some of the toughest ones out they're there. Tough, they're tough and they're incredibly resilient.